Hi, Sam from Guitar Village here, and today we're going to check out our latest gear in. We're going to do a weekly roundup. So, without any more chat, let's get into the first one. Right behind me, we have got a Gibson Custom Shop 59 ES355 reissue. It's in the VOS finish in Antique Natural, and if you're checking out 59 355's original ones, you're just not going to find them in natural. It'd be super rare. So, being able to just go into a shop and buy one off the shelf is incredible. Next up, we've got a guitar that's a little bit more run of the mill actually. It's a 57 gold top reissue, again from the custom shop. This is in their double gold finish, which kind of gives that extra greeny hue to it and slightly darker. And speaking of dark, they've also gone for the dark back as well on this. Something that I love about the neck profiles on the custom shop models is they've really refined them. When they used to do 57 gold tops, maybe like five years ago or more, they used to have these massive baseball bat style necks. And they're kind of a lot more pleasant now, they're nicely rounded. Okay, that's enough Gibsons for a moment. Let's check out something from Fender Custom Shop. Here we've got a 1960 reissue. It's in the super heavy relic finish, three-tone sunburst, and with a gorgeous looking tortoiseshell pick guard. I mean, I can talk about these things for days because they've just got so many details about them that's unique to each guitar. That... Anyway, we better not. Otherwise, I'm just gonna chat about this thing because I love it and it gives me Stevie Ray vibes. Okay, let's check out the next room. Now in here, we're kind of going back into the Gibson territory. This time, we're talking Epiphones. We've got two of the 58 Carina models in, the Explorer and the Flying V. Now when they brought these out, it was a little while ago, and we haven't seen them until now, so we're really chuffed to actually have these in. They're nice and light, they've got kind of chunky-ish neck profiles, not too chunky, but just comfortable and full in the hand. They're also fitted with Burst Bucker 2 and 3 pickups as well, so you can really rock out on them. Now before we check out the last guitar, let's head on into the acoustic section. Hot off the press, literally just turned up, we haven't even had time to put a ticket on it yet, it's just got a sticker price. This is an Atkin The 36, and it's based on an old kind of 36 L00 style model. Very cool, absolutely love these, made in the UK, check out Atkin guitars, that's a really nice finger pickers model. Now, let's go and check out the last one. So here we are, the last guitar we've got in, this is another pre-owned one. This is a 60th Diamond Anniversary Strat. Now you don't see many of these about and you're not going to see any in this sort of condition. It's pristine. It's got a gorgeous dark rosewood fretboard and the original owner actually bought it over in the States and imported it himself. I think he was traveling out over there and saw this and it really took his fancy. So if you want to get a time capsule guitar, this is the one. Anyway, that's it from the weekly roundup. I hope you enjoyed and as always, thanks for watching.